Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is another segment of Let Me Introduce You. It's where I introduce you to amazing authors that I absolutely adore and want you guys to know more about. Okay, so for today's guest, I have an amazing, amazing author that I uh, found last year and in 2020, and I absolutely love her. So let me introduce you to Miss Naima Simone. Miss <laughs> Naima Simone, could you please introduce yourself to my people? To the people. <laughs> Hi, people. <laughs> Well, my name is Naima Simone. I am a USA Today bestselling author of contemporary romance and a sizzling hot erotic romance. You know, I like to use all the bad words. And by bad, yeah. I mean the really good words. <laughs> um, I like to write books with heart, humor, and heat, and a lot of snark. And uh, that's where you, that's uh, emotion and... Yeah, just have fun. Like I, I love to write the books where you just have memorable characters, a lot of heat, a lot of fun, and that's me. And I okay. live in domestically challenged bliss with, you know, the fam. <laughs> a lot of domestically challenged bliss with the fam. <laughs> so I know. <clears throat> Yes, that you just recently had a book come out. I oh, did. As a matter of fact, it is right here on my shelf. I've actually already read it, and it's called <laughs> Back in the Texas Bed, and it is a Harlequin Desire line uh, book, and it's starting off a new series, correct? Yes. Ooh, so I've already read this and I absolutely loved it. Loved it. Thank God, because I love your love I really value your opinion. So when you love a book, I'm like, oh, I'm in there. <laughs> well, it 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 gives me all the tropes that I absolutely love, especially one that isn't very popular. I'm not gonna I say know. which trope that is, but mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's an unpopular opinion. <laughs> but I love it. It is my catnip. So, <laughs> yes. So, obviously, that uh, makes you a traditionally published author. So, are you a traditionally and independently published or just traditional? Uh, I'm both. Um, I, have, I have more traditionally published than um, self-published, um, just because I have more contracts with traditionally published authors, but I have a few self-published and mm -hmm. I love to self-publish. I just don't have as much time to do it as I would like, um, but I want to do more. I intend to do more just because there's just a little more like freedom and control over what I can write, how far I want to go, how dirty I want to go. <laughs> bad words I want to use, <laughs> you know, and so, so I, I love it, but, you know, right now, most of my books are traditionally published. Okay, so is Grading Curves a traditionally published or independently published? Independently, even though oh, okay. I did write it originally for, um, for the Read Me Romance. Right. Uh, yeah, so for that podcast, so it's like the audio book is through them, but I did self-publish the, the ebook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So must ask, how did you get into writing? Well, see, look, I tell this story and people think I'm being very, very sarcastic, but I <laughs> promise you I'm not. Okay. Okay. It okay. all started because no one was going to write the grand love story between me and Ralph Tresvent. Okay. A new edition. Are you serious? I promise you. And I gave them Heffa's time, my best friend and my sister. And they were not going to do it. So I did it. And it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, is it and out there so I can go find it? What? Oh, no, 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 no. It is in a trunk in my daughter's closet under lock and key. A padlock. Padlock. 
<laughs> but it was absolutely wonderful. It's trash. Uh, I bet, okay. Yes, yes, everything the kind of trash that I want. No, everything that should never happen in a book happened. Except for our gazes meeting across a high school gym when he was singing with the rest of the group on the stage. But I swear to God, he ended up in the ICU at the end of the book. What? <laughs> oh, I lost my virginity at the drive-in too. Oh and my God. I think because I was the heroine, of course. And and he, I lost my virginity at the drive-in. <laughs> but for some reason, I don't know. I think he might have got in a car accident. And he ended up in the ICU at the end of the book, but my kiss brought him out of his coma. Oh, so you got some fairy tale up in there. And, <laughs> and then he serenaded me with Lost in Love. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So that's that is real. Started. That's how it all started. So that is kind of age telling because we're both like I know. of the whole new edition thing, and I, I know, know who I Ralph is. Oh so my age! <laughs> but it's showing mine too because that means we we about the same. So I'm you. like Ralph Tresman. Oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> that was my man, right? Of course, so that evolved to like. My stories evolved to Donnie Wahlberg. You know, I'm Team Donnie. You know, New Kids on the Block. So, so <laughs> yes, I'm a Team Donnie too. I I just knew. Knew. He was the bad boy. It was something about the bad boys, right? Oh, love me a bad oh, boy. Donnie. Yes, and Donnie was yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so it evolved yeah. from there. So eventually, you know. Nice. So eventually, oh. I stopped putting myself in my books, and you know they stopped becoming, you know, like the 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 uh ba- you know the bad the band boy the band members uh, that I love. Uh-huh. So but did you? That's how it started. Okay, so what was your first book then that you wrote? That was the first book, but the first book that well, was I mean first published, published was yeah. um <laughs> Sweet Ultimatum <laughs> with uh, Loris Cave. Okay, see so, you now. I'm I'm I have to. Cave. <laughs> I have to oh. write that. And event, and one day I'm going to put it back out there. Okay. You no, know, since it was a Laura's cave, you know <laughs> that oh, was. I, d- I don't know the controversy. With a Laura's cave. Mm-mm. Oh, girl, we gotta talk. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about. That. Yeah, it was. Okay. Laura's cave is the publisher that we shall not mention. It's kind of like Voldemort. Oh, it, okay. Yeah. Hmm, okay. You want to say I got my rights back. And um yeah, I'm gonna put it back out there one day, but I gotta totally overhaul that because I can understand that. Because it yeah. was it was the first. It was the first. It was the you, first. You weren't you it, were still learning things I, like I, that. I, I've learned a lot since then. <laughs> so how long have you been in the game? Since I, that was published in 2009. Okay, okay, yeah. So I've learned a lot since then. Don't (laughs) do that. (laughs) So how many books do you have published? I think um, Back in the Texas Bed might be my 28th. (laughs) Yeah. I have a big I have a big backlist to (laughs) work on. Don't go read that one. (laughs) Don't do that. You know what's funny, right, is that when I find an author that I'm, like, reading maybe an arc from them or reading their newest release or something like that, and I love that book, and then I'm like, oh, I got to go read their backlist and things like that. Yeah. I can I can actually have that lens of, you know, okay, this is their very first book. Okay. So I can take that whole lens off of it and be like, after I finish it, if I'm disappointed in it, I can go... That was their first book. It's okay. 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 <laughs> Your father would call that grace. You got right? me. <laughs> I, I, give, I give lots of grace. That's- I'm like, yeah, that was their first book. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, Wait, what- that. <laughs> so what genre of book do you, or books do you write in? Or what is your main one? Mostly I write contemporary. I dabbled. For two books in paranormal, and personally, mm-hmm. I love that. Um, 
Everybody else didn't apparently from the sales, but I did. And they I all know about it. it. Wow. That's the other thing that I'll find it out is that some authors be hiding their stuff and you don't know that they, and it's like, excuse me, ma'am, what, why didn't oh, you yeah. tell me? <laughs> and those two books with the Lord's, were with the Lord's K too. And I oh. guess I'm going to put them back out eventually one day, but hmm. Yeah, y'all didn't like them, so I don't know. <sighs> but I ain't bitter. I ain't bitter. But you know. <laughs> but apparently, I'm gonna stay in my lane, and I'm gonna stick with contemporary, even though I love paranormal. Like to read okay. it, absolutely mm -hmm. adore it. But yeah, okay. I'm I'm a contemporary writer. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned that you're a reader. Oh, so do you read within your genre of writing or do Absolutely. you stay outside of it? Oh, I mean, I, I read within it. Um, absolutely. But I also read with, you know, outside of it, too. I read mm -hmm. everything. I read paranormal like I am an Alini Singh worshiper. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if she has a TRO against me. <laughs> I might have shared her with that little shrine in my closet. I get it. That's fair. <laughs> So oh, we can't see off screen. Yeah, it's over there. So that's why I'm keeping the camera like right here. <laughs> you you don't have evidence. You can't come get me. Right? So so yeah, like I am like her worship. Like listen, that's no one, like whew, that woman. Like she can do no wrong. So like <laughs> Nalini Singh's number one fan. So mm -hmm. like I love paranormal. I am so getting into sci-fi, like Ella Maven turning me out with her really? warrior series. Huh. I'm, I'm like binging it. And I am, of course, historical romance. I cut my teeth on historical romance and I still love it to this day. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, you know, contemporary, I love rom-com. I love N.A. I love, of course, adult romance. So yeah, I read it all. Okay, so let's talk about um, your taboo books because was it Sin and Ink? Mm -hmm. And then what was the second one? Because I haven't read the second one, I read the first Passion one. Ink. Passion and Ink. Yeah. Can, yeah, can we talk about them? Because, um, mm -hmm. they're I would consider them dark because I was I was kind of upset with you, <laughs> um, in the middle of a uh, Sin and Ink because you did something that I didn't like personally. Yay! Yeah, I do. If I am remembering correctly, our heroine pined and and was troubled and angst over the love that she was having for the other person, but the love was dead. Isn't that how that goes? Is that what how that one goes? Well, she wait. Okay, in Sydney, she was the she was the widow. He was in love with his brother's widow. Right. Yes. But wasn't she the one that was hung up on the fact that it's the brother that she now has attraction to? Well, she was, I mean, that, well, yeah, but he was <laughs> hung up on the fact that it, he was like in love with his brother's widow and that it was going to cause strife within the family. And she okay. was too, but she was more hung up on the fact that she was going to lose his family, like, because that was the only family she'd ever had. Like, so losing that, his mother and the brother, she knew that was going to cost mm -hmm. her. And so she mm -hmm. was like, am I ready to lose all that? Because she knew she was, but right. she was so attracted to him. And, and, but she made the right decision in the end. You're still mad at me. Am I still mad at you over that? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of this ending because <laughs> in, the end, in the end, they she she lost they she lost her. She lost the mother. The mother didn't come around in the end, and so she. Really? No, I'm, maybe I just kind of wrote off mom like I mm. need you to get on board with this. No, this no mom did be. not come across in the end, and she chose him, she chose him, and she she had to walk right. away. Because it was like the big, I hope I'm not spoiling this for anybody. I mean, the book is like, yeah, I'm sorry. It's like two and a half years old right now. So just like sorry. turn the sound down at this point. 
Well, now we're going editing, to editing, 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 I'll, put a, I'll put a spoiler right, thing up right, here. Right. <laughs> and you're just going to be looking at us like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like the dinner scene right. and the movie was, was going off because she was, you know, she blamed. She was mad, Knox, right? The, yeah, she blamed Knox for this, the brother's death. And right. now fighting again, she was going off on him and she stood up for him and was like, it's not his fault that, you know, I think I right. how can I the brother's name. That's so sad. It's my character. But she's like, <laughs> it's not his fault. You've been wrong for blaming him all these years. And I love him. I'm going uh -huh. to be with him. I'm sorry this is going to hurt you. And if you decide not to be in our lives, that's your choice. But right. I'm with him now. And if you just and it's your decision from here on out what you're going to be in our lives, but I can't. I can't make that for you. And so she walked away from her. The mother did not come around. And that's why you got to read book two to see if she comes Aww. around. She kind of goes into that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of flack for that. I was like, oh, the hate is real. <laughs> <laughs> but I like there's a book two and it goes on. I'm like, it's not a cliffhanger. But I felt like exactly. it was me out of this, like a cliffhanger. But I'm like, it's not her story. <laughs> My feelings, their romance is complete. <laughs> but yeah, that, that that was not resolved. It wasn't. Well, I, I guess I just I guess I just wrote off mom. Like I don't care. Yeah, a lot of people wrote off mom because she she <laughs> was together. Not together. <laughs> but yeah, the two of them they they pined over. Yeah, that, that there was a lot of things. I was like, can we just get back? Can we just get past that, please? Just the yeah, they, they did get past it. They got past it with a lot of sex. Finally, finally. <laughs> and I was here for that. That was fine. They, they banged it out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, yes. Okay. So if you could make any one of your books into a movie, or a television show, which book would it be? Or series? You can Other than a paranormal that nobody read? Yes, I'm going back to it because I am bitter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm over it. Okay, we'll stop. Okay. Um, oh, okay, let me see. Oh, okay. You know what? The WAG series, and I will want Jason Momoa to pay, play Ronan. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And oh dad. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> when you are writing, do you create vision boards for your characters? Like, do you pick out celebrities that you sort of you know, image your characters off of, or do you let the characters build and then create the vision for them through care through celebrities? That's what I was getting at. <laughs> oh no, I I totally like I am I'm a visual person, so I create like the vision of the characters in my head before I even start. Like I I will go in and I have to do it by hand. I have a notebook and I write. Uh, the character sketches out and I have the pictures of who I envision him to be. And it's usually either a model or, mm -hmm. uh, or an actor. Like, like I said, like with Ronan from scoring the player's baby, um, it was like Jason, unashamedly Jason, <laughs> Miller, like <laughs> unapologetically down to the tattoo. Hey, like, hey, listen, bring it. Like, I, yes. To the eyebrow, to the, like, listen, okay. it was not old to him. Like, it was, <laughs> <laughs> there was just him. There was, and, and I, like, Shamar Moore was Zeph, and like, I I go okay. ahead and I, I just picture it. It's easier for me to get into their character that way if I can picture who they are in, in front of me. Like, I'm totally a visual person. Okay. Okay. Um, so is there a character that you like more than any other? Yes, I am asking you, mother, to, uh, <laughs> to choose one of your book children. So long for that. Who do you love more? <laughs> really? Yep. Oh, uh, yes. Um, oh, yes. Who do you love more? I don't know. I feel like they're all sitting here looking at me like... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, <laughs> you know, I I love like I love a tortured hero, right? So <laughs> So I love Knox. I did. I just so I I'm gonna pick him under duress. <laughs> Cause I love a tortured hero. So I'm gonna pick him and we're gonna move on. <laughs> I feel like you really this is under duress. Under duress. I'm waving to my self. And just <laughs> I, I have no words. <laughs> Just like move it along now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Your your laugh is so infectious. I mean, I'm told my laugh is infectious, but your laugh is so infectious. <laughs> Okay. So, um, you have, have you done any co-writes with other authors? No. And I would love to just for the experience. Like I, I would absolutely love to. So which author no. would you like to? You yes. know who I'm going to oh, say. Yes. Oh, Nalini Singh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who I would love to? Tessa Bailey. Like, really? Love. Uh, Really, Tessa Bailey. That would be such a fun because you're you're real dirty with your with your words, and then she's real dirty with her words with her words. So, yes. <clears throat> thank you. Y'all would be so dirty together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Like we're like so a match made in heaven. So Have you dirty ever together? Book, the sweetest fix. No, I haven't. I have it too. <laughs> You have to. It is so good. She has oh, the Audi Bear hero. Oh, it's I love so it. Good. Oh, it, and he's I a big her heroes. So. Oh God, there's and he's like Leo is so good. Oh my God, you got to read it. It's so good. Oh, yes, I would, I would like die. Her. Like if I got a chance to co-write with her. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do you attend? Well. Now, I mean, we're in COVID, so yeah. it's not happening anytime soon. But before COVID, did you attend author events and things like that? I did, yeah, and and I, and I loved them. Like you would, like I tell this to people, and they kind of laugh in my face. But I am shy, right? I, I am, and I'm an introvert. I know I get that reaction. Go ahead and do it, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> but I am. So it's like I got to gear up to do it, but. Uh -huh. But I do enjoy them once I once I'm there, right. and um, so so I I enjoy them. I enjoy meeting like readers, and then I enjoy meeting the authors that I fangirl over. Right. True story. <laughs> I was at uh, oh god, now I can't remember the name of it. But uh, in October, I, I was in Florida last October. I was in Florida, shameless? and I got, yes, shameless. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, <laughs> my brain, every, every cell is going toward a book. I swear. And <laughs> I'm, I'm worthless. So, I was getting into the elevator, getting ready to go down to the signing. It was like Saturday morning. I would go walk into the elevator with my sister and I walk into the doors open and there's Tessa Bailey. And I mean, I've talked to her on, on, um, oh. you know, social media before right i never met her in, in person uh oh my light went yes, yes so i get into the elevator and there's tessa bailey and i'm like every every word in my head goes and all i can goes say away. hi tessa bailey <laughs> it's tessa bailey and i just keep calling her tessa bailey like she doesn't know her last name <laughs> and I was saying, she's like, hi, Naima. Hi, Tessa Bailey. I was so embarrassed when I got off the elevator. Like, I I said, shut, just shut up. <laughs> Stop calling her damn Tessa Bailey. Stop it. Just shut up. I was so embarrassed. Oh, my oh, goodness. I'm so embarrassed. And my sister's uh, like, hey, can I have your autograph? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, shut up. Just <laughs> 
Are you surprised, Tessa Bailey? <laughs> I'm like, why is your voice doing this weird, this weird thing? I don't know. Oh, oh, that sounds about the, the same way that I was with, I think it was Kennedy Ryan. Oh, God. I'm that <laughs> person. I probably just. Oh, hey, Ryan. She, the, she's just like, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. I mean, luckily, our first meet, mine and Kennedy's first meeting was an interview in 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 uh, Philly. So I had gotten myself. I was like, okay, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm ready. I'm I'm, I'm do this interview. We got this. I got this. I got this. But then it's like, <laughs> and luckily, Kennedy, she will talk. You give her a yes, subject, she goes yes, the nicest person. She would go, she would go, love her, love <laughs> her. And it was just like, oh, okay. And it was, it was weird. It wasn't weird. It was, it was just fangirly. I mean, like, serious fangirly. Because <laughs> you're, I was sitting there, I got the, um, the event people to allow me to like sit at her table and set it up there. So we're interviewing and there's still people kind of roaming around. And I was just like, eh, and we're talking. And, eh. But I will say that in, on Google, if you Google Kennedy Ryan, my interview shows up at like, the top. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, it wasn't that bad, <laughs> right? <laughs> I guess people want to watch it. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so you mentioned that you have characters in your heads. So how many? How many books are we writing right now? I'm finishing up the third book in the Billionaires of Boston series, but then I'm about to start writing two books at one time. <laughs> So yeah, I'm about to start writing, working on two books at one time. And one <laughs> is my HQN, which would be the third book in the um, Rosebin series. And then my- the book, Wait, 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 wait. The first book hasn't come out yet. So It's coming out in April. Right. Well, I know that. I already yeah. pre-ordered and I've already requested oh, it. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trolling that galley and was like, oh, Naima got a new book. Uh, uh, ding, 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 ding. Give it here. <laughs> I'm like, give it here. I need it. I need it. And then I went and told my book friend, was like, Naima got a new book coming out. You need to go request it. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your trope, catnip? What is the one trope? that you just um, love to write about? I love, um, oh, there, oh God, there are just several. Like I love best friends and lovers. Mm -hmm. um, I love fake relationships. <laughs> I, I love fake relationships. Like as you can probably tell, like, cause oh, yeah. That, yeah. I, mean, I love them, they're my cat like, nips, so. Yeah, you know, I, I love them. them. I, cause there's just something about like, and, and uh, enemies, the lovers, like I, because okay. there's something about both of those. Well, all three of those, like the sexual tension in those three tropes, mm -hmm. it's it's just off the charts for me. Like, and and then like how the how it starts to turn. <laughs> you can yes, yes. All that, all that. You can see like how the relationship starts to turn, and and how the sexual tension makes it starts <sighs> to turn. It's just it's just yummy. Mm -hmm. And it's yummy to write. And then the, the sexual tension makes the sex hotter. <laughs> and the yes. banter, like the dialogue in the banner. Right. So it's delicious. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, I could sit here and like talk all day and giggle big oh, no. key key with you all day long. <clears throat> but <clears throat> we don't want to be here all day long. So Ooh, let's go right. to I'm not writing, but I'm just playing. <laughs> See, I need you, I'm not I need you to say that. I need you to get back into the cave and give me my books. Yes, give me the books. Yes, give me all the books. Yes, so we're gonna do the lightning round now. Okay. <clears throat> Don't with. think about these questions. Okay. Just quick one. So okay. would you rather have your head be too big for your body or hands 
be too small for your size. Well, my head is already too big for my body, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm I'm comfortable with it now. <laughs> I had years to get acclimated, so we're gonna go with that. <laughs> okay, so would you rather? Oh my goodness, this is a long one. What was that? I'm sharing secrets. <laughs> Would you rather be handcuffed to the most annoying person you know for 24 hours or go camping with someone who likes you, but you don't like back? Oh, handcuffed. I'm not going camping. Spiders. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh my God. You don't like spiders either? No. Oh God, no. No. So Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Don't mm -mm. do the spider. I can't even do them on like television, like a I'm, I'm not. Mm. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. When like, I was uh, younger, uh, remember? Did you have a, in, the Encyclopedia Britannica? That's before Google and all yes, that. And a, yes. My sister and I stapled together the spider section in the Encyclopedia, <laughs> so we couldn't flip to it by accident. <laughs> Is that good? Of course, <laughs> we didn't take into account that in the Beeb Encyclopedia, there's the brown recluse and the black widow. But yeah. The, Spider section in the S Encyclopedia Encyclopedia Britannica. We stapled it together so we couldn't. Wow. It's that deep. No, I I have a phobia, so I'm not going camping. It's bad enough. I got to live in a house where they where they are. I'm not going. Right. Exactly. Uh, handcuff me, ma'am. Handcuff me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather blow up 100 balloons or lick 500 envelopes? Oh, I have air asthma. I'm licking. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need this breath. <laughs> I need every bit I can get. <laughs> okay. So would you rather be able to record your thoughts or your dreams while you sleep? That's a weird question. Oh, oh, um. Recording your thoughts or record your dreams while you sleep. Nobody like, yeah. wants these thoughts. I don't even want to have the time. I'll take the dreams. Yes. Sometimes no. dreaming can help because there's yeah. there's been a couple of times that I've woken up and I'm like, what did I dream about? Because it was so vivid and I want to write that down or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Because I'm not a I mean, I'm not a writer. I'd be more than happy to give you ideas, but um, give them to me. <laughs> And then sometimes I right, dream it. about Jason Momoa. So <laughs> dreams. Yes. <laughs> okay. And the last yeah. one, would you rather, oh, this is easy, see Oprah or Arnold Schwarzenegger as the next president? <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> we have one there already. I'm okay. about that one. <laughs> now, okay, I must tell you, I picked those questions randomly. I have like a deck, and I legit just picked out five of them. Okay, I didn't, I didn't look at them beforehand or like anything. The softball. <laughs> <laughs> so can we? <laughs> so can we? Um. Conclude that Jason Momoa is your celebrity crush? Uh, I think it'd be safe to say. <laughs> I think we could go with that. Do you have a female uh, uh, celebrity crush? I, I have several. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I'm not going to pronounce her name right, but um, Char Char <laughs> Charlize Theron. Jesus, Charlize that woman. Theron. <laughs> in that Snow White movie, she was the best thing about it. <gasps> yes, oh, yes. That. She was yeah. wearing that gold. She was wearing yeah. that gold. God, I oh, love. Yeah. Her. And I watched that perfume commercial over and over again for her. Which version? Because uh, there's quite a few Dior. She's almost She's... naked. It's there's like a couple of those versions. There's a couple <laughs> versions of that. All of them. All of them. All of them. So. <laughs> She is so gorgeous. Like, she is. She is. Oh my God. Tessa Thompson. Like, oh, God. oh, oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Janelle's 
uh, partner. Yes. Oh God. And they are so cute together. Recently, the woman, I don't even know her name, but I I've watched the whole series twice. The Haunting of Bly Manor, the one who plays Miss Jess, whatever, the, the nanny, because she's so gorgeous. That's a horror movie, and I don't watch horror. So. Oh. <laughs> You're missing out. No. <laughs> I'm going to send you a picture of her, though, when she's not dead, so you can see just how gorgeous this woman is. You know, oh, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't She's not dead, it. so don't worry. You're not going to get scared in this picture. <laughs> and I don't even really know her name, but she's just so pretty to me. And yeah, I love her. <laughs> well, but we don't need names. We don't need names. No, no. But but no. we love each other. She just doesn't know it. <laughs> We're two strangers meeting in the night. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, and I have a few others, but those are my main three right now. Okay. Sure. Whew. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's, it's amazing how, and, and not just that, but like even her acting ability. Remember when she played um, Monster? Yes. She's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. how can you? She, and she was really a wonderful, wonderful actress in that movie, too. Because mm -hmm. um, here's another confession I'm totally fascinated with serial killers. Like, I watch all the crime shows and I've watched that, that you know, documentary, I don't know how many times. Uh, and so I've seen the actual woman mm -hmm. that she was portraying, and boy, she just embodied her. Mm -hmm. And so she did a fantastic job. Yes. And then to come back months later looking like how she does, it's like, yep. Wow. Yeah, definitely. I love um, <clears throat> so my husband lately has been all about the what ID TV or something like that yeah. investigation. To, to, I, I, I asked him I, quite frequently now. I'm like, are you plotting to try and kill me? And you're making <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> you making sure that you can get away with it unlike these people because you never get away with it <laughs> it always goes back so you sure you want to kill me i don't think you do my husband just brought me a shirt that said that <laughs> 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 my father my father called me uh it was about it was a couple years ago my father called me and he said naima what are you doing i said i oh, well, i'm plotting what did Gary do now? <laughs> <laughs> Have you written any characters that feel like your spouse? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Never. Because I am, and I'm because you said Never. you've written things, you've written characters about that are similar to yourself, but I was just wondering about. But and I like because I, I think. Most authors, and 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 they can correct me if I'm wrong, and they probably will. But I think we, a lot of us, put parts of ourselves into our characters, even if it's just maybe some of the things we like, as far as you know, like candy or movies. Like me, most books will have some kind of reference to Lord of the Rings or '80s, or you know, something, you know, or even mm -hmm. our insecurities, as far as you know, something of ourselves in our characters, you know? And, but as far as my husband, I just can't like, it, but and then I kind of take that back because a lot of my heroes are, um, as far as like sensitivity and things like that, of course, mm -hmm. you know, that, you know, that's who he is. And a lot of my characters will have that, like, you know, sensitive and sweet and but as far as like the really alpha alpha guy, I, like I'd kill him mm -hmm. if he was anything like the guy that I write. You know, I pick up with a fish knife in his gut. Like <laughs> I ain't having that. <laughs> We'd be out there like boxing in the street. So <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask: Have you written anything outside of romance? Besides the paranormal, I'm not talking because I consider paranormal sort of romantic. Yeah, in some no, ways. I, I mean, I'm, I'm such a romance junkie. I don't, I don't really care to write anything outside of romance. Like that, that's just my, that's my thing. 
I mean, maybe one day, but not right. Well, I mean, at this rate, you know, your obsession with serial killers and killing people, um, you know, when, 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 when people get killed in romances, we have a fit. So um, I'm going to need you to not do that. (laughs) I make no promises. (laughs) I'm going to need you not to do that and make sure that uh, our main characters continue to get happily ever after. (laughs) Can I just promise that the main characters won't die? No, because you already do that anyways. You can kill people. I've read a couple of your books where people then died and I'm just like, "Uh -uh, dang. (laughs) I'm just going to stick to that. I just promise yeah. the main characters won't die. Everybody okay. else is fair game. Okay. Ma- yeah. ma- main characters cannot die. No, they, that's like a hard and fast rule. Like the main characters cannot die. But there we go. Everybody else. <laughs> I guess they're fair game. Yeah. <laughs> you can even have your main characters kill some people. I'm cool with that. Yes. Too. Oh, okay I that. just read a book, Dead Man Walking by Gianna Darling. And I swear that hero killed everybody. He <laughs> 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 was a psychopath and I was there for it. Totally loved yes. it. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, oh so much, this. Naima, for so joining much. me in this chat. It has been so lovely oh, to so just learn about you and you know get to know you a little bit more and become even more obsessed than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope more people uh <clears throat> in them sales. <clears throat> you know, some people in the back. Go, go, go get some books. Yes. Uh, down in the description box, I will link Naima's page for the big bad Amazon. Y'all like to get me, <laughs> but <laughs> big bad Amazon link for Naima's freaking page. You guys need to go check her out because she's absolutely amazing. If there is a trope that you were looking for, you can probably find it in her backlist because the books are good. The books are amazing, amazing, amazing. So. Thank you oh so much. Thank you. And, um, I'm going to pop you out right now and uh, do my outro. Okay, everybody. I hope that you guys enjoyed talking with Naima and my talking with Naima uh, and you guys enjoyed it. So if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. There is also my PayPal, my Kofi my patreon uh down in there so that is where my exclusive weekly wrap-ups are located for you guys to check out uh my full thoughts i do do a sneak peek here on youtube i release videos on tuesdays and thursdays i hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching bye